Hi, this is Chef with IDB. Today we're going to talk about Go Native, which is a jailbreak tweak for the iPhone. Now, once you install Go Native, it'll put a, a settings section in your settings app, which is located here. Now, there are four options. Um, there's three options that we're mainly going to worry about, uh, two in particular, uh, fast app switching and retrofit unsupported. Now, I've disabled fast app switching, as you can see here. And of course, retrofit unsupported is disabled as well. So what that means is that across the board, all apps that even those that support uh, multitasking will have their multitasking disabled. Fast app switching is completely turned off. So for instance, if I open Pandora and the music will load up, okay, and I close it, it closes out immediately. Now, you as you know, normally when you close out Pandora, uh, it'll still play in the background, but since this tweak is enabled to disable fast app switching across the board, every app that normally uh, supports that will close immediately, and that includes Pandora. Now I have downloaded a app, um, an older app that has not been updated with fast app switching, uh, Virgin Radio Italy. Now let's load that up, see how that works. Okay, and that closes out. Now open it up and you'll see it buffering again so it has to reconnect all over again. See how that works? Okay, so now let's go back to our settings app. Go back down here to Go Native. And now let's enable fast app switching just with normal uh, fast app switching. This isn't retrofitting, so this is gonna just make your iPhone like it normally works on iOS 4.0 and up. So let's close that out. So now, let's open up Pandora. Okay, and then let's close it out. See, it's still playing. Okay, so let's go ahead and just close it out. Okay, all right, now let's open up Virgin Radio. Connecting, taking a while. Okay. Close it, and it closes out. Okay, there's two reasons for that. Uh, number one, it doesn't have native fast app switching, and we haven't enabled it with this tweak. And then number two, as we'll discuss a little later, is that even with fast app switching enabled in here, the music is going to die because the app wasn't designed to play music in the background in the first place. So let's just go ahead and open it, and you see it has to load all over again, and then come back on. So I'll close that out. Now, let's try one last thing. Go back to settings. Go back down to our Go Native. Now let's enable retrofit unsupported. So this is gonna enable fast app switching or multitasking for even the older apps. Now let's open Virgin Radio. Okay, it's gonna open, it's gonna connect. Buffering. Now close it out. The music will stop, but watch now when I open it music comes up immediately. No more loading or connecting. That's because the app the app does have fast app switching working on it, but since it wasn't designed um, to play in the background, it kind of doesn't even matter. I mean, the only benefit you derive from this is that the, that the app loads up quicker uh, because it is kind of cued in the background. So it will open up and it will start playing immediately, but you don't get the benefit of music playing in the background because it wasn't designed for that in the first place. So that's kind of the caveat with this, um, with this tweak, uh, Go Native. Uh, it does work, but you have to keep in mind the pluses and minuses of this tweak. As far as using this uh, and Backgrounder, which one should you use? Of course, I'm going to stick with Backgrounder just because it includes real backgrounding options and, and you don't have to use it. It has a lot of different options for you. Now if you're more, uh, if, you, if Backgrounder is confusing for you, then this may be something to look at. But overall, just in general, I'm, I'm finding myself utilizing Backgrounder uh, a lot less just because more and more apps are uh, supporting native fast app switching, which I think is quite adequate, adequate um, for the iPhone. This is Jeff with IDB.